Good evening, guys and gals. Welcome to Epiphone Fish's channel. This evening, I am playing a game. It is Grand Mer Ocean Fishing, an MMO. It's pretty much brand new in the United States. It's been in Korea for quite a while. I've been waiting years for this game. Uh, essentially, the premise of this game is you are catching fish to level up. So every time you catch a fish, you gain experience, and you also gain experience through doing tours, which are listed here. Uh, your tours are basically just missions. Um, essentially, these are the NPCs, or the equivalent of NPCs in this game. Um, as you can see, if you look in the bottom left, I'm already level 9, so I've been playing this game for quite a while. Um, so I've done all of the first step, first season tours, and they've got a tour list listed on each one of these. As you can see, I haven't completed quite too much in here yet. Um, I've really been unable to complete any of the, uh, other than the Atlan tour. The next tour, I haven't been able to complete this Whitefin Wolf Herring tour. I've tried it a couple times. Um, the challenge quest, you need a very fast boat to do. So, that's just an initial explanation of how you get into the game, how you level up. Um, as you catch fish, you also get items called Pearl, which is basically the currency in this game. It can be spent on upgrading your gear, enchanting your gear, um, and consumables, clothing, things like that. Down here on the bar, you've got the shop. Um, they've got another currency called crystal if you'd like to spend money on the game that's probably not something I'm going to be doing in this game um, not big on small transactions in video games so that's probably something you will not see me uh, going into or purchasing from um, I've purchased a few things for my character I'll show you those in a few minutes here I'm just going to give you a general idea of the things that you may want to purchase if you decide to play this game and things that I already have in my inventory. Um, I've purchased hair, I've purchased sunglasses, I've got a pair of shorts and I also have a t-shirt. All these items give you different upgrades to your character so it's something you want to purchase early in the game. Um, of course, I've already got somewhat upgraded items. I've been playing for a little while now, so I've gained some currency and I've been able to purchase things a little bit higher than your base items. But when you start, I would recommend just purchasing base items so that you have something to build off of. Um, so you see here, it increases your health and defense. Uh, for mine, my health is up 5, my defense is 2.36. For some reason, I have not enchanted it yet, but you can add all kinds of different things when you enchant. Um, your basic one won't have quite as much, and then once you get into the really pricey stuff, that's when you're going to start getting major upgrades. <laughs> However, I will not be getting any amount like this anytime soon, so it's going to be quite a while. Um, I'm going to try to post quite a few videos of this game, but I'm not going to promise anything. I'm just trying to get back into this, so, you know, see if there's any interest in this game. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my character build here. Um, as you can see, the sunglasses, the hair, the shirt, and the shorts. Um, Every one of these, other than the t-shirt, has been enchanted for experience gain. I'm trying to grind through this game so I can get to, to some more interesting fish. Right now, the things I'm catching aren't exactly interesting. There's quite a variety of fish to catch in this game, but on your lower levels, you're catching mostly ground fish, a bottom-type fish, nothing very interesting looking. Just things to grind on to gain experience. Uh, over here you've got your fishing rod, your reel, your lure, and your boat. All those have been upgraded other than the lure. As far as I know you can't enchant lures maybe in higher levels but you're gonna be with the silver spoon for quite a while. You will gain uh, another lure 
uh, the gold Midas, which it uh, shocks the fish when you hook it. We'll get into that in a little while. Um, but you're pretty much going to be using your silver spoon throughout the entire game. Um, the reel I've got here, a superior beginner reel that actually came in a box. I caught a fish and I got a free item for catching that fish. This was it. Highly upgraded from your standard beginner reel, so I'm glad to have that. And the shining uh, beginner rod. Um, you can spend a little extra pearl to buy this item basically when you first get started and it provides a pretty good uh, upgrade for your fishing rod. Uh, enough of that boring stuff though. Let's, let's go ahead and catch some fish. I want to show you guys how this is done. Um, essentially use wads to move around, up to cast, up to hook, and down to reel. I'll show you the rest when we get into the fight screen here in a moment. Okay, so I'm reeling with down, but you also can reel out with up. Uh, up will release the tension if the fish gets to the danger level, as, as I'm going to show you here. Uh, getting into that danger level is hazardous to your health. It is not a good thing. Um, that is not something you want to be doing too often, especially not at the beginning. You just want to fight these fish the best you can, try to get them in without losing a bunch of health. If you do find yourself losing quite a bit of health to the earliest fish that you're fighting, what you can do is tag potions to your, uh, your quick bar down on the bottom there. And I'm just pressing one, as you may have seen earlier in the fight, to regain health quickly. Okay, here's our first fish. It's an Ambon Emperor. Uh, this fish is found throughout the map. You can either store your fish or you can release them. If you store them in the tank, you can turn them over. Some fish have extra items. Most fish will just give you pieces of fish which can be used in crafting, which we may get into at some point. Um. In order to find different species of fish, what you can do is go to the mini-map. And that'll show your location, show you the location of important things, such as the ship, which is where you do your crafting and where you turn your fish in for pieces of fish, and the different uh, warps. Unfortunately, I'm at a level right now where I cannot warp into uh, any higher maps, so I'm stuck here grinding until I get 100% get level 10, and then we'll go to Shogun. But for now, we're just going to cruise around, try to grind a little bit. If you look on the left of this map, you can see all the different fish you can catch on this map. Um, there are four stages of weather while you're at a map, and only certain fish show up during certain weather events. So here, we're overcast, so the Cerro and the sea bass is there. Well, we're no longer overcast. The game has changed the weather on me. Let's go ahead and close this and see if it updates. It does. Okay, so uh, when it's only sunny, you got the slit eye shark and the blue grenadier. Um, basically, what I'm going to try to do is to find a high level fish and just grind on it as much as possible. Um, we're not going to target this blue grenadier because it's a pretty fickle fish to catch. You're going to catch a lot of junk while you're trying to catch it. We're going to go with something a little more compact, closer to home. Okay, we're going to go target the Tierra Batfish. Another thing I haven't mentioned while navigating, it is possible to use a warp speed. You gain that by doing combos with the fish. If you noticed on the top bar, when I was reeling that fish in, there was left and right directions. Basically, if you just punch those buttons or go reverse when it says reverse. Um, you will gain power on that fish, you'll gain combos, and you can fill up your boost meter. I'm sorry. I paused there for a minute. I could have sworn I was going the right way for that fish, but apparently not.
there's the boost feature while you're driving with wads. If you double tap W, you can use your boost that you gain from your combo. Okay, Tierra Batfish, we are in the right area for you. Uh, now when you're fishing, you can only cast your lure between, I believe it's 10 and 35 kilometers per hour. So if you have a boat that's faster, it'll automatically slow it down. If you're not going the minimum speed, it'll tell you to speed up. Uh, now another feature while you're fighting, you press the space bar and you use your pulling gauge. Uh, it's a feature pulling, basically all it does is it will try to tire the fish out a little bit. See, I'm going to use it here. Relieve some of the stress, but really it's a waste of time. It's not something, unless it really proves itself to be uh, pertinent, that I'm going to be upgrading. Because it, while you're doing that, you can't reel any extra line in, so it's, it's pointless to me. Uh, you may find it useful. Hmm. Ah, you won't see me using it. And while we grind, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the tank. One thing I'm not going to do is completely fill it, because once you entirely fill your tank, you can no longer fish. So you have to go back to the Shandler ship or waste a bunch of uh, fish. Pretty much my plan here is just to grind to level 10, go dump whatever fish I do have in my inventory off at the... Uh, Chandler ship, and then go to level 10 Shogun. Now while you're fighting, one thing you may want to do is take a look at your, uh, how much line you've got out there on the left. If you're not paying attention to that and you get very close, what will happen is uh, you will have to refight the fish. It will pull line back out, so I'll show you that on this fish. Okay, so it's pulled more line out. I've also got a fainted view here, which is kind of just a splash screen, so it's harder to see your gauges. It adds a little bit of a challenge to the game. I can't say it's a very hard or very involved game, but if you're interested in fish or fishing, it's, it's something I would recommend that you go ahead and give a play. In fact, it'd be nice if there were a few more people playing this. Uh, we'll take a look at the user list here. As you can see, I am the only person playing right now. Uh, there's room for 100 people, plus they've provisioned quite a few channels to this game. Um, unfortunately, nobody has seemed to pick it up. It's, it's just a really relaxing and chill game. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our tank, see how many fish we got. Four of eight. Um, other boats, you can hold more. I chose this boat because it's significantly faster. I've also added a couple speed upgrades to it. Helps you get around the map. I know the map doesn't look very big, but it does take a minute or two to get from one area to another.
Another thing I failed to mention, if you look at my fighting bar, if you look all the way at the left there, it'll show the level of the fish you're fighting, which I think is a cool feature. If you know that you've got a low level fish, you can pretty much just reel it in, ignoring the tension, the danger. Um, at that point, it's going to deplete health, but it does it at such a rate that it's, you know, it's not going to impact your character. Um, another upgrade I'd recommend when you get the opportunity is to uh, increase your health regen while you're fighting and while you're just cruising around on the map. Um, regening health quickly is definitely vital to being able to grind in this game a little better. I hate to refer to it as that because basically oh. it's, it's enjoyable you're fishing, but uh, it is grinding. You do have to catch quite a few fish to get your level up. Hurrah! As you can see, I've only increased about 10% here. We've been playing for a little while. Um, then again, I've just kind of been screwing around, only caught a couple fish. But uh, it does take a while. As you can see on that fish, I just went ahead and said screw it. I mean, my life regens quick enough. It wasn't worth the time trying to play that fish out too much. I just try to get it close enough and then just go ahead and reel the fucking thing in. Just get that, get it done. Let's go catch something else. You guys have seen enough of that fish. I know I said I was going to grind, but screw it, we're just going to kind of wing it here and uh, go check out something something different. If you catch a big enough fish, there's actually a crane which brings it onto the boat. I'm going to try to show that to you guys. Let's, uh, let's find something close here that's cool and big. Okay, so we have now begun the quest for the snake mackerel. One thing about fishing uh, in this game is even though they show you areas for specific fish, you will sometimes catch other species of fish because some uh, species are distributed throughout the map so you can land them anywhere. And it kind of gets in the way when you're trying to do tour challenges. Um, you only want to catch a particular kind of fish but they may assign you a species that's located everywhere or you end up catching a bunch of junk while you're trying to catch, you know, the target fish for your task.
Yeah, these fish are a little small. That is one thing I did not look at. I could have sworn they were bigger than that. 3.93 kilos. Nah. Ah, let's go find something a little bigger. Uh, we'll go check out the, the hound needlefish. Now, one thing I don't like about this game is the camera. Um, you do have to readjust it to kind of get your bearings. It doesn't follow you if you're in third person view which is the view that I prefer. Um, I just brushed you through a couple others. This I've got an in-vessel view, which isn't bad. It's just a view that I never really enjoyed playing as, so again, that's not something you're going to see unless I'm skipping through it. And then you've got an underwater camera. Uh, you may have seen some fish come through. You will see that occasionally. Even from the top, you can see schools of fish going through, which is a neat little feature. Uh, it, it doesn't appear to me throughout the couple hours that I've played this game that speed makes any difference on any species you're catching. It may change later on in the game, but at this point you can go 35 kilometers an hour, 10 kilometers an hour, and you'll catch the same exact fish. So I don't pay too much attention to it. Sometimes I'll slow down just to stay in an area if it's a small area small concentration of a certain species of fish. Okay, uh, as you can see, this is one of those fish that spans the whole entire map. Um, not what we were after, but that's okay. Still gives us experience. Um, I think at this point I've got seven fish in my tank, so I'm going to go ahead and release it. Yeah. Don't want to get that last fish. want to continue so that uh, I don't have to go back to the ship until I level up. We're slowly getting there. Okay, here's another non-target species. We are going to go ahead and release that. Do not want. Let's make sure we are in the right area for our fish. Uh, we were after the hound needlefish. And we have moved out of that territory, so let's get back in there. And uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up here in a minute. I don't have the bandwidth to be uploading the size videos that I'm trying to make here. So, these are going to be in 15, 20 minute segments, yeah, maybe less, maybe more, but uh, yeah, Time Warner Cable not working for me. But that's all we got around here. Won't get into that.
All right, caught our target species. There you go. Biggest fish of the day. Woohoo! What a surprise. Nobody else plays this game. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm probably going to be level 10 the next time y'all see me. Um, if you have any questions about the game or any questions for me, just go ahead and leave me a message. Send me a private message. I'll be glad to answer any inquiries. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it was kind of dry. Hopefully the next time we'll just screw around and have fun. This time I just kind of want to introduce people to this game and give them an idea of how this works. So let me know what y'all think. 